Hey everyone, it's time for another Patreon requested video. This one comes from Berto, who is an awesome supporter that I got the chance to meet in person pretty recently, and he is really wonderful. So Berto was asking me about happiness in life and how someone's career may play a big part in that. He pointed out that there are many people who aren't doing what they love necessarily, as far as a career goes at least, but he said that he thinks that I am, and I think he's right about that. So. Berto wanted me to share a few things about my career path and how I wound up where I am right now. I'll tell you, it is a very long story, so I'm going to share three key moments that I think were some of the most important for me being able to work in a field that truly makes me happy. Let's start at the very beginning here, my first job out of college. So I studied broadcast journalism at NYU, and I loved the program. While I was there, I was lucky enough to score an internship at New York One, and that's a channel that offers 24-hour local news in New York. I was so happy there, and I knew right away that when I graduated, I wanted to try to get a full-time job there, and I did as a news assistant. And basically what that means is I'd report for a shift, they'd give me a camera, a tripod, some batteries, and I would be sent on my way for the day, filming everything from press conferences to fires to fun community events on the weekends. I was really very happy there. And I love the excitement, my colleagues, how every single day was different, but it wasn't until I had the opportunity to film some red carpet interviews at the Tribeca Film Festival that I realized that that's what I wanted to do, and that leads me to my second moment, working at a show called Real Talk. In case you don't know, Real Talk was a show that aired on NBC, and it featured two hosts talking about movies. I was lucky enough to meet the producer of that show through a reporter I knew at New York One, and he offered me a job, and I took it. I instantly fell in love with the show in that place, which I actually used to watch before I even worked there. And I love the people too, and I probably sound like a broken record with that comment, but in all honesty, I have had the pleasure of working with the best at almost every single job I've ever had. But anyway, I loved Real Talk, I moved apartments to be closer to the office, and then the show was canceled, and I was devastated. It was only my second job after school, but I walked around with this doom and gloom attitude about my career after that happened just loved the place so much, and I kept thinking, I'm never gonna find anything else that I love as much as that. Turns out I did, but the loss of Real Talk also gave me the nudge I needed to start reviewing movies myself and not just producing for other critics. The third moment I wanna share with you guys right now is making the decision to go back to school for my MFA in film. So after Real Talk, I was cruising along pretty well as a freelancer. I was writing for so many great outlets and just working nonstop, convinced that the more I worked, the more likely it was that I'd eventually land a full-time job somewhere, but also because I love the work so much, I really just never wanted to say no or miss out on anything. But I did hit a point when I couldn't shake the thought here I am critiquing other people's work when I've never tried to make anything myself. Much to my surprise, I applied to Columbia's MFA program and I got in. It was super exciting, but then I was stuck weighing, do I go to school and take a baby step back from the film journalism, or do I keep forging forward and gunning for that full-time spot somewhere? In hindsight, the choice is a bit of a no-brainer, but I really did struggle making that decision, and I'm just so, so thankful I wound up going back to school because there is no doubt in my mind that that experience completely changed me as a film reporter and critic, and it also led me to produce short films and a feature film that I am just so incredibly proud of. So that's a little bit about my path, but I think it's really important to note that every path is different. If you had told me this would be my route back when I graduated undergrad, I probably wouldn't have believed you, but I am so glad it happened this way because it put me in a great position today and really not a single day goes by that I don't stop and think about how lucky I am to be doing something I love so much. So Berto, thanks so much for making this video suggestion because it is of the utmost importance of me to remain thankful and positive. If you'd like to suggest a Patreon video topic of your own, the link to the campaign is in the description section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and I will see you real soon.